This video is intended primarily for faculty who are interested in creating virtual patients and incorporating them into the curriculum at UBC School of Medicine. First, let's look at the question, what are virtual patients? Virtual patients are online practice cases which provide interactivity and feedback to students. It's a place to apply knowledge to clinical problems and practice clinical reasoning skills. Cases are intended to introduce students to clinical reasoning and apply the knowledge they've gained during each block. These virtual patients are accessible to students online through medical. In this video, we will look at the creation of one particular virtual patient case in the cardiovascular block. I approach creating a virtual patient um, in much the same way I would see any patient uh, on the ward or in the emergency room or in the office for that matter with heart failure. Uh, and I thought given that this was um, first year students, we would give them the opportunity to be introduced to uh, clinical decision making. So I took a, a patient that we might normally see um, on any of those clinical settings uh, and developed a, a case around that, a very classic format of history and physical. Um, investigations in terms of laboratory work and, and diag other diagnostic imaging modalities and then had the students try and piece that information together to come up with a, a differential diagnosis and a, and a rudimentary management plan which was really kind of consistent with where they are in their medical training. So the, the idea was to really um, give them the opportunity to be that detective uh, when the first time that they're seeing the patient, uh, really give them ownership. I, I think a lot of uh, the criticisms or concerns about uh, medical education is that uh, they don't get an opportunity to be uh, in the hospital, in the medical environment and, and interacting with patients. And this was an opportunity for them to do that, to ask the questions of a, a virtual patient, uh, collect the information and then use that to synthesize the next uh, line of information gathering. Virtual patients can be much more than patients. They can help integrate and consolidate previously learned concepts. They can help students prepare for exams, OSCEs, and clerkships, and they help make the transition into clinical years easier and more effective. So it was actually a pretty painless and pretty easy process of working with the designer to get uh, the case put together. Um, uh, Initially, it was sitting down and giving them a vision of what I had anticipated. There was uh, input and, and, um, and a contribution from the undergraduate faculty as well to make sure that what I was presenting was in line with what they had learned um, and what would be consistent for their, uh, for their level of training. Once I came up with what I was interested in, the designers kind of took that and showed me where I could integrate media or where they could help me to integrate media uh, or interactivity that would make the case more dynamic for, for the students. So really it was taking a traditional um, patient interaction and uh, trying to understand with the designers how we can make that as captivating as possible and as educationally rewarding as possible. Uh, doing a cardiac case around heart failure, it didn't really make sense to have an echocardiogram that the uh, that the students couldn't themselves interpret, but we did get an echocardiogram report. It was a relatively easy thing to get and it allowed the, the students to understand what these reports and various uh, uh, pieces of paper that are going to be coming at them in the near future look like. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the highest uh, form of uh, media or interaction, just some ideas that can get the, patient, or get the students in, engaged. Virtual patients can also help connect students with external resources, like academic papers and provincial guidelines. If other colleagues of mine were interested in, in um, doing this type of a case uh, for or uh, across other specialties, my, my recommendations would be to, uh, first of all, identify what, what teaching points you're trying to, uh, to get across. In my case, it was an introduction to clinical decision making. But there may be specific areas that they really want to highlight uh, and then develop a, the case uh, around, that, uh, around that objective or series of objectives. Developing objectives was really important in terms of how we uh, laid the case out from there. And working with the, with the developers and designers only helps you understand what, how you can make that more dynamic. The designers and developers are actually really helpful and come to the table with a lot of their own ideas and experiences around what has worked or hasn't worked in the past, either through an interaction with a, a, a physician such as myself or because they have a knowledge of the literature and they know what other programs and other centers have done to make their cases successful. Hmm. 
process of putting a, pa uh, a virtual patient together uh, was kind of a start and stop, a bit of a stuttering process. I would say the whole life of the project took about three to four months, uh, but that wasn't because I was uh, engaged on a nine to five basis in the development of it. It was really two or three key time points sitting down with the uh, virtual patient team to develop some objectives and develop a framework around the case. According to the 2011 Virtual Patient Pilot Evaluation Report, the vast majority of students surveyed found virtual patients to be an engaging and useful learning tool. The area that I work in in heart failure is a huge public health concern. There's uh, growing numbers of patients and not a lot of uh, care providers out there that have the ability and capacity. Uh, to care for these patients. Um, a lot has been said about getting more people involved with the care of heart failure patients um, at a provincial level. And I thought if we can already get medical students earlier in their, in their medical careers uh, involved and interested uh, in a new way, bring a new slant to it that was dynamic and innovative, and that might be something that would capture their attention and really bring light to the heart failure epidemic overall. Virtual patients are powerful learning tools, and that is why we are creating them at UBC Faculty of Medicine.